sick of it. The police are helpless. They've been chasing this guy for a year now. For what? They've got nothing. Suzumi really likes you. She could totally pull some strings and... Man, just think about it, please. The Phantom's been dodging the police for a year now, and he... He's getting better at leaving behind no evidence. This case can help out our organization. And what about the Zodiac Killer? Hmm? better than me at observing details. I might have overlooked something here. Besides, it's not like you have anything else to do. Suzumi closed your case just now, remember? Burglar enters, gets killed by the homeowner. How? Yeah, yeah, tossed the gun, claimed he did in self-defense, got 25 years in jail, yada, yada, yada. This phantom case is way more exciting than whatever home invasion case you've got on your plate. Please. For me? Look, this guy is a true professional. It's about time we took care of him. I'm sure if you talked to Suzumi, she'd let Agrisil handle this guy. Kazuki, it's been a year. They've been running around in circles like a dog. They've done nothing. If we take this case, we'd be doing more than they ever could. At the very least. Concentrate on the victim's personality one at a time. Come on, Kazuki. You gotta admit I'm right. You know that's not what I meant. Explain someone getting murdered by getting poisoned. Please, you need to talk with Suzumi. Look, I have a theory that the Phantom. you otherwise. I don't want to build up your hopes, but I really think this could be related somehow. Besides, if we don't solve this case now, we'll never be able to prove my theory anyways. It wouldn't hurt. Well, yeah, we could... Look, 
tired, sis. Have you been getting enough sleep? If you ran all the way up here, you look like me. What are you guys doing here? Also... Guess what, sis? Kazuki said he talked to Suzumi about the Phantom. We're gonna solve this case in no time. Sure thing. Last one to the office has to buy. No fair! I just ran! Always. Have you ever been on time for the meeting? All right, calm down. I wasn't grilling you. I was looking through some documents and settling some personal Sorry, Kazuki, I didn't know that you were coming in. We are honored that you could visit us. Well, she was running an errand, so she's excused. You, on the other hand. I would like to start our meeting with this case number. Suzuki, remember our deal. You promised, and you know I won't leave you alone unless you do it. What deal? You promised Akito that you asked Suzumi to take care of the Phantom case, remember? And when we take into account the place, time, and the technique of the perpetrator, we can draw the conclusion that this accident wasn't an ordinary one. Are you kidding? This is the case we need to work on! This is the biggest killing spree in decades, and you think we're playing games? Am I interrupting? So sorry that I'm boring you with the case details. I'm guessing you already read this earlier? Anyway, what do you have to say about this, Akito? Mm, uh, well, Kazuki wanted to ask you something. It's not a secret that Yggdrasil is the last resort for the police force, but what are you getting? been serious enough to keep a straight face? Yeah. When I was ten years old and my dog was hit by a car. Worst five minutes of my life right there. <laughs> but we didn't have a dog. Enough! Do you think that this type of discussion is amusing? Interesting. 
All right, everyone out but Kazuki. You're a strange one, you know that, Kazuki? I'm intrigued by the way you think. When I first met you, you were quiet and aloof. But you knew what you wanted. Since the Phantom struck, I was wondering what was the right time to work on this case. I know, but I have this strange feeling that we'll be biting more than we can chew if we take this case. We could get involved in something mysterious. Something dangerous that we don't understand. Akito asked you. I could see that a mile away. When the Phantom attacked for the first time, Akito came to me and asked if we could work on it immediately. But I said no. I didn't know at the time, but I thought this was for the better. After a while, Kaoru and Aki asked. But I still... Now, however, you're talking to me about it. But could I ask you something? What do you think about him? The Phantom, I mean. Kazuki. the glass. I don't know how, but you were staring at the wall and crushed it. It's about time. Thanks for finally getting some sense in that head of yours. I told you this was a bad idea, and now we're going to get scolded. <clears throat> Akito, you're bruising my hand. Can you stand up? You're getting... You're the one... Ugh, never mind. So, we should call ourselves something cool. I was thinking the Phantom Team. Maybe? Yes! Big Bro, you're a genius! For God's sake. Happened to your hand, Kazuki? All right, we mustn't waste any more time. Akito and Aki, you'll take over the documentation. Look at all the files on the Phantom's crimes, as well as murders of which the perpetrator couldn't be clearly defined. You need to look for anything that the police may have omitted. Kaoru, you'll help me with verification. But Aki and I were supposed to go to a charity concert today. You want us to let little... But it's meant to take place tomorrow. Oh, really? Well, never mind then. Let's go do our thing. I want to have a progress report by midnight tomorrow. End of discussion. Uh, yes, ma'am. What about Kazuki? Kazuki has to do something else. You look at this and see how deep the cut is. I think we've already got this down. Can we leave now? By all means, yes. Except for you, Akito. Well, I've got a stack of documents to review, don't I? Well, that could have waited until tomorrow. But now that you mention it, fix the door you broke. Oh, man, why does it always have to be my fault?
bothering you, am I? Are you sure you s Well, I'm just here to see if you want to go to a meeting we're having at the Red Dragon tomorrow after work. Most believe Well, even if you don't want to, Suzumi's forcing us to do this. So she said <sighs> Suzumi knew you were going to say that. She said, If you don't come tomorrow, you won't be able to leave the office next week. And all the paperwork is going to be forwarded to you. Trust me. Because she's the boss. Anyways. The taxi will be waiting for you at 11.40 a.m. Make sure to do your hair before you leave. so he notices us. Oh, yes. Wave your arms around so the two other people in this place can see us. If you want, I could get someone to put a tracker on him. Then you'd know where he... <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Does it matter? No. I don't... You see? I... You're on time. Because you didn't do your hair, right, Big Bro? Listen up, everyone. Let's organize a donation pool for Kazuki's Comb Fund. Times are hard, and we need to combine our efforts pronto. Don't forget a new alarm clock. Calm down. We're here to relax. In case you didn't know, I like to party, too. The real work begins tomorrow. What are we gonna eat? Good question, Aki. I've already gotten hungry from waiting for- I'm starving. What do they serve today? Yo, Aki, fetch- Why me? Because you're the youngest and I'm your older brother. It's my right. No, this time you bring me a menu. and put me in danger. I don't think I have a problem making a story up. Fine. I needed a drink anyway. Oh my god. But we're the little ones, I guess. I always thought of you as the gentle type. You could have asked me politely. There are a lot of things you don't know about me. Well, if you're going to get a drink, can you fetch me some juice? Pretty... The same for me, if you don't mind. A glass of dry white wine. <sighs> and anything. Huh? So the second. 
स्किन चीटेस्ट charity concert was today. Yes, the people there are gathering money for a wounded girl who injured both of her legs in a car accident. They're holding a fundraiser to purchase some stuff so she can walk normally. Do you want to come with us? I'd love to go. I have nothing better to do anyways. What do you think? I guess I'm free. But I promised my dad that I'd be helping him out, so I... What matters is that you'll be there! Thank you! What about you, Kazuki? Will you on... You're late, not deaf. Did you hear me? Well, it wouldn't be surprising. You always skip these things, you monster. idea to get you to come. There you are. I have some great news, Big Bro. Kaoru and Suzumi are going to the concert with us. What about Kazuki? Is he coming with us? Calm down. It's up to you. No one's forcing you. Let's focus on the more important. Didn't you say that you wanted chicken? Are you kidding me? I never even said that. Um, well, I ordered all of us chicken and Thai sauce with prawn. It'll be good. D trust me on this one. Hey, nobody's perfect. It's not my fault that those women wore the same clothes as he did. In addition, the witnesses testified that they saw... Did you say women? That's interesting. If what you ordered is any good... And what do we do if he survives? out on them. Better start eating. Cause you getting cold. Hey! But Penny, what's up, Suzumi? We never have time to talk like normal friends. Oh, we're friends now? What do you want to talk about? There are so many things, and we certainly don't have... Uh, oh, yes! What? You're right, it happened. But with you, we can hear it like a plane's and Could you act like a normal person for once, Big Bro? It wouldn't harm you if you were a bit more serious. Well, write a formal complaint, and maybe I'll consider it. Getting back on topic, there's one thing that bothers me. People in town say things, but really never mean it. I mean, how can we find out? I know what you want, Aki. What you're asking is... How did my father... Dry wine. I love its taste. The bitter grapes on the... Susu. It was a warm September morning. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were having breakfast together and sitting at a white table. On it was everything I could ever hope to eat. It was Saturday, the day of my 12th birthday. I always strive to be the best I could be with physical activities, especially since I knew my dad wanted a son. I am who I am thanks to him. When he went to work, he would kiss my mother, assure her that we'd eat breakfast again and that everything would be okay. He always said to me, 
No one knows what the future holds. But despite what happens, we must move forward. I remember those words. She didn't return for a long time. And after a while, I felt like something had happened. Three men and one woman, all dressed in black, went to my room with my mother. She was a bit absent-minded throughout the whole thing. My father, along with five other agents, had been working on finding a group of drug traffickers for several months. On Saturday night, a drug delivery at the port in town was supposed to take place. A large amount of cocaine was to be transferred to local traffickers. When the agents and my father entered the unloading area, the criminals were surrounded and put their weapons down voluntarily. Father realized that something was wrong. When they knelt on the ground, he heard a series of shots. It was coming from a nearby yacht, and a group of shooters killed the agents. My father managed to dodge and hide behind a nearby pile of boxes. But before he could call for support, a stray bullet went through his leg, followed by more shots to his chest. He wouldn't go down without a fight, and killed a few of the criminals before he went down for good. And that's why you see a bullet on my desk. Is that everything you... Oh my god! I didn't know it was... Don't apologize for the things that you can't control. Life isn't a game where you can reset whenever you feel threatened. It's something I have to live with. Admit that you can't say sorry, will ya? Jeez. The day before the incident, cameras were installed. They figured my father wasn't clever enough to check beforehand, but they were dead wrong. Were they caught later? After a while, they were caught. So that's how it ended? This is exactly why I decided to devote my life to catching criminals and murderers. Because of my father's death, I established Igrasil. I wanted the truth of these cases to come to remember. There are no accidents in life. Sooner or later, when that happens, we'll be there to catch him. Oh, and that story I told earlier? For your ears only. Tell anyone and your... It must be hard for you too, Kazuki. Suzumi means that it must be hard losing a parent at a young age. But you, sir... How did it happen? I can hear some pain intertwined with the sarcasm. Is everything okay? But you can be open to us. We're friends, right? I think Kazuki is the type of man who prefers to keep some things to himself. Everyone, how was the meal? Pretty good? Mm. Considering it was a surprise, it tasted pretty good. Chicken could have been more rare. Huh. My little sister, a food critic. <laughs> what? Is this an interview? Sorry, officer. I didn't know I needed it. It's fine, Kazuki. Let it go. I might have picked that one anyways. I didn't. Akito, I have officially lost my faith in boys. How could you use 
as a galactic bro. Well, I'm quite impressed by your frugal and cunning nature. Even I wouldn't have thought up something like this to get out of paying for a meal. I've always believed in my abilities. Wait, is that a compliment or an insult? I hope you had your mu- You're right, Kaoru. Someone broke into a grocery store two days ago. He also stole two chickens from the meat counter. That's hilarious! You guys are comedians! We should start a comedy club. I'm not. Oh, come on. It was just a joke. We're friends, right? What's up with you? We can divide this free chicken evenly. There's a poultry farm not far from here. I think this might be a clue. Perfect! All right, Big Bro, I'm not mad at you anymore. Oh, no. Are you serious? Are we checking this out right now? You won't miss it, especially after that stunt you just pulled. Fine, if I have to. We'll work on the Phantom case in the office tomorrow at noon. As for Akito, We'll prepare documents for the grocery store robbery so you can spend all day looking at chickens. So you're serious? You guys get to work on the phantom case while I have to go on a wild goose chase? It's more like a wild chicken chase. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll be done. Seriously? You know I never joke, Akita. get down to business with the same all right so what's next we'll all go well maybe not all hey i'm coming with you tonight we promise fine we're going to die i'm going to catch up with you later i still have an errand to run beforehand i'll be on time like always don't make fun of us maybe it'd do you some good to shut your mouth don't you ag You're sure that you can't be boost? Oh, why like We got you here, didn't we? Yes, we know that you're an individualist. If you change your mind, you know where to find us. We've discussed the concert. What about tomorrow, Suzumi? When do you need us in the office? 10 a.m. would be fine. Will you all be on time, or will there be any exceptions, Kazuki? Don't get all philosophical on me. We're not at school, you know. Kazuki, I have to be honest. Sometimes I want to strangle you. Could I get one too? My taxi allowance was eaten up by a... a dog. Ugh, fine. But don't... So, are we good? Is there... Sure thing. We just need to get the bill all settled. Don't forget, Akito needs that free chicken. What's so funny? Hmm? Yeah, I noticed it too. What do you mean? See you later, everyone. Are you?
you going to have All right, see you later. Have a theory that the phantom might be related to you. Wait, are you sure they're not here? Suzumi told me to meet up with her at noon. Wait, it's 2.30 p.m.? Shoot, my watch must have died when I was on the train. Huh? Oh, hi there. I guess you wouldn't know anything about Igrisil's whereabouts, would you? Don't worry, I'm not This place is pretty awesome, not going to lie. I'm still getting lost on the streets, can't figure out the transit system for- Oh! Sorry for ignoring you. I'm just jotting some notes here. It helps with- See? Celebrate Joseph and Kay's first anniversary. Ah! Congratulate players on completing the demo. Well, on behalf of the whole team, thank you for playing this demo. We that means we'll have much more Icarusel in the future. I actually can't wait to find out what happens to the fandom. Well, anyways, I just wanted to say thank you for being very patient. We appreciate any support and feedback, and don't forget to share this with all your friends. I feel like I have to be in a few more scenes at least. <laughs> I should probably try and call a taxi. There are so many th <laughs> Jesus! <gasps> I burp in the line before Akito burps, and I get mad at him for burping. Win. <laughs> Akito understands me. <laughs> Well, I got a burp for you. I don't know how disgusting that feels, but I was trying. It's for the sake of acting and realism. I hope you all appreciate it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's really disgusting, though. I'm so sorry. Holy crap, Suzumi has a long line. Jesus. You could have asked me politely. There are a lot of things you don't know about me. There are a lot of things you don't know about me. I don't know how to read. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go in the sight. Moi kai. Hey, take two. You could have asked me politely. There are a lot of things you don't... Oh, goodness. Do <sighs>